Good day, grade 10 students, and welcome sa isa na namang online class sa Science 10. So, the lesson for today is plate tectonics. This presentation is powered by De La Salle Araneta University Farm, Flexible Alternative Remote Modality of Learning. So I'm Mr. Maurice Gravides, your instructor for this lesson. So plate boundaries. According to the plate tectonics theory, the uppermost mantle along with the overlying crust behaves as a strong rigid layer. So this is layer this layer is known as the lithosphere. So yan. So a plate is one of the numerous rigid sections of the lithosphere that move as a unit over the material of a stenosphere. So ang crust, di ba? When we review the layers of the earth, crust is the outermost layer ay binubuo pa ng iba't ibang part. Ang outermost part ng crust is the lithosphere. So pag tinanggal natin yung karagatan at yung mga dagat sa ating mapa, lithosphere yung makikita natin. So lithosphere is being uh, since outermost part siya ng crust, siya yung nag interact sa iba't ibang plate. So, ayan. So, as you can see sa ating mapa, ayan, ang ating mapa ay the, uh, inahati sa iba't ibang plate. So, we have types of plate boundaries. Number one is divergent boundaries. This also called spreading centers. They are the place where two plates move apart. Ayan, so as you can see sa GIF, so yung first layer ng crust ay lithosphere at a second layer ay asthenosphere. So, nagkakaroon ng spreading kapag umaakyat yung magma pataas. Second is the convergent boundaries. They form where two plates move together. So as you can see dito sa picture na to, when continental crust has an a collision against continental crust, some parts uh, being subduct, uh, subducted, di ba? Pababa. So, nagkakaroon ng formation ng mountain range. And the third one is the transform fault boundaries. There are margins where two plates grind past each other without the production or, the, or destruction of the lithosphere. So, a movement ng dalawang plate ay opposite sa isa't isa. So, these are the three types of plate boundaries, divergent, convergent, and transform fault boundary. So now let's discuss divergent plate boundary. So as you can see sa picture, nagkakaroon ng formation ng rift valley. So ang rift valleys are deep faulted structures found along the axis of divergent plate boundaries. Kung saan yun yung point na nagkakaroon ng spreading, yung source ng spreading. They can develop on the seafloor or on land. So, pag tinitignan nyo yung picture, no? nagkakaroon ng formation ng ocean. So, oceanic ridges are continuous elevated zone on the floor of all major ocean basins. So, the rifts at the crest of ridges represents divergent plate boundaries. So, ayan. As you can see sa ating picture, sa ating planeta, so, nagkakaroon ng seafloor spreading. Saan? So, uh, tingnan nyo. Yung along North American Plate and Eurasian Plate, nagkakaroon ng ocean spreading dyan. And then, South American Plate and African Plate, nagkakaroon din ng seafloor spreading dun. So, it produces new oceanic lithosphere. So, when spreading, centers develop within a continent, the landmass may split into two or more smaller segments, forming a continental reef. So, this presentation is powered by DLSAU Farm. Thank you for listening.